Reacting differs from responding in that reacting is habitual. Reactivity expresses thought and emotion habit patterns. We all have different reactive patterns, which is to say different emotion and thought habits. The situations that trigger angry outbursts in some people trigger hurt withdrawal in other people. What triggers envy in some triggers arrogance in others. Whatever your particular reactive habits, they keep coming back over and over, even though they aren't the ones you would choose under ideal circumstances for calm reflection. The first challenge is to notice the first appearance in your mind of the habitual impulse. Can you be aware of the instant it first pops up? Develop the habit of looking for your habits. The second challenge is to let go of the habitual impulse. Once it appears, it is compelling and very difficult to release. It helps to literally stop. If you're walking, stop walking. If you are sitting, stand up. If you're thinking, stop thinking. Take a breath, or three, with your attention resting on the breath. The third challenge, rinse and repeat. Residual habit energy will bring up the habitual impulse again. Stay on the lookout to notice its first signs and be ready when you do to stop and let it go. Gradually, the reactivity will recur less often and less strongly. For more on this practice, see the post at cucmatters.org.